Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Donjo 1702 roller latch. This is the 1702 Donjo roller latch shown to you in the oil rubbed bronze finish. I'm going to say it's a nice oil rubbed bronze finish. The quality of the finish is very good. There's the T strike. And then your screws, two screws to hold the body on. And then for the strike, you're going to get two wood screws, and then two machine screws. Okay, if it's a uh, metal frame. There's a link below this video to the template. And let's go over the dimensions of this roller latch now. Overall length. Of the template, uh, pardon me, of the uh, roller latch is about three and three eighths. You can see there that that is indeed the case. You got an overall width of about one inch, slightly greater than an inch. Overall height of about an inch and five eighths. Okay. Strike plate is going to be two and three quarter tall, which is going to be typical. Inch and a quarter width, inch and an eighth. Forgive me. And then a lip, uh, center line to lip length of about an inch and a quarter. That's typical for a uh, strike plate as well. Roller latches like this, heavier duty, more robust ones that feature a spring system such that when you tighten these two screws, you can manipula manipulate the amount of projection that the roller latch is going to come out of the edge. Those screws don't stick out because you're screwing them down to get the roller latch to come out. Okay. Good heavy duty nylon roller intended to hold commercial grade doors, you know, 100 pound doors in a closed position. Very typical uh, to use on single doors with dummy trim, like a closet door. Very typical to use on pairs of doors where you'd install this in the top of the door. Machining for this is broken down into two steps, really. You've got the body preparation and then you've got the plate preparation and if you think of it in those terms then you you have a two-step operation where you're first going to mortise for the body of the unit itself okay uh, Don Joe's template does not give dimensions for machining it gives actual physical technical dimensions for the item itself so if your dimension is 1.6 per the template let's just say that that's you know just over one and nine sixteenths you're going to want to pad that depth by about a sixteenth of an inch and you'd be in good shape with that your width they're calling it at 1.03 so it's inch and a thirty second wide what's nice about this Don Joe item is you, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera but there's a slight bevel to this making a nice tight fit when this piece of hardware is put into the edge of a wood door that's a real nice feature, real nice feature from Don Joe. Um, not all manufacturers have that. Uh, so your width is going to be about one and three thirty, one and one thirty second, just shy of three and three eighths tall height. You're definitely going to want to use a router if you're doing one of these. I'm sure, you're probably going to use a hammer and a chisel. If you're doing more than one or in a production setting, you're going to want to have a fixture and a plunge router uh, for doing this. It would, it's going to give you the best quality uh, sort of uh, fit and finish when you're all done. You know, if you're setting up a router for this, you're going to have to set the inside width of your router to, you know, the width of this. And if you have a caliper, that's a good way to go about measuring stuff. Uh, and then, of course, half of your uh, dimension for the uh, uh, collar, the collet that's on the bottom of your router base for this side, and then of course over here, or just the total dimension, right then. You're going to want to test that before you go machining actual doors for this. Make sure your fixture is set up correctly, um, and at that point you'd be real uh, in real good shape. Squaring your corners out with either a corner chisel uh, or doing it with a regular chisel by hand. Machining for the strike plate is going to be a similar sort of situation, although in this case it would really be 
probably just a plate preparation. You might finish the rest of this out by hand. Uh, the indentation for your roller latch is going to fit. It's going to look obviously like that when you're all said and done. Okay. Uh, again, real nice quality on the fit and finish from Rockwood. I, I'm just impressed with their quality. This is available, this roller latch is available in several different finishes and again is going to be intended for heavier doors, not hollow core doors. This is kind of overkill for that, but three foot by seven foot, uh, you know, solid core wood doors this would be very typical for. Made of cast brass, you know, on this finished uh, component area, okay? And uh, Don Joe is a full line manufacturer of uh, trim and auxiliary hardware such as roller latches, but they're probably most commonly known or popularly known for their latch protectors and their wraparound plates, even though they do far more than just those items. If you have any questions on the Donjo 1702 roller latch or any other Donjo product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.